Boom Shakalaka with Bitcoin price crashing below $20,000 previous all time highs. Today's video, we're going to be talking about what's going on with Bitcoin price. Grayscale suing the SEC and two dates you need to keep your eyes on. Stay tuned. What's up everyone, Randall here from Crypto Love. Today's video, we're talking about Bitcoin crashing down below previous all-time highs, $20,000, the Grayscale SEC lawsuit, and two dates you need to mark on your calendar. Keep your eye on. They could be huge for Bitcoin. Before we get into it, guys, make sure to like, subscribe, click the notification bell. Come join us over on Twitter at the Crypto Love and press the like button. Let's get to a thousand likes. Now, today in Extreme Fear 11, as the price is coming down, we're getting more fearful. No surprise there. The overall market down 3.5% today. Bitcoin at 19,409, Ethereum at 1057, BNB at 210, XRP at 31 cents, Cardano 45 cents, Solana $31, and Dogecoin 6 cents. And if you want to know the top coins today based on artificial intelligence and machine learning, they would be Seek Smart VR, S Coin, Leo Token, API3, and Hive. And if you want to check out Token Metrics for yourself, there is a one week free trial down in the description. And they have a specific sale going on right now when you use the code listed down there. I should mention that this is the time of year during a bear market when they picked out Matic and they also picked out Helium. So this is the time to stock up on discounted amazing cryptocurrencies with their code reviews. Now, Bitcoin today crashing below $20,000. Once again, we were hoping this might be support, but it is once again resistance. And Bitcoin is shockingly underneath this yellow line, the 200 weekly moving average for the longest time in its entire history. This could continue the downtrend, bringing price down lower first to the 280 weekly moving average around $17,800. And if it breaks there, it could potentially go much lower. But the news today is Grayscale Investments initiates lawsuit against the SEC. Now, what they say here is Grayscale supports and believes the SEC's mandate to protect investors, maintain fair, orderly, and efficient markets to facilitate capital formation, and we are deeply disappointed by and vehemently disagree with the SEC's decision to continue to deny spot Bitcoin ETFs from coming to the U.S. market. Through the ETF application review process, we believe American investors overwhelmingly voiced their desire to see GBTC convert to a spot Bitcoin ETF, which would unlock billions of dollars of investor capital while bringing the world's largest Bitcoin fund further into the U.S. regulatory perimeter. We'll continue to leverage the full resources of the firm to advocate for our investors and the equitable regulatory treatment of Bitcoin investment vehicles. As Grayscale and the team of Davis and Polk have outlined the SEC is failing to apply consistent treatment to similar investment vehicles and is therefore acting arbitrarily and capriciously in violation of the Administration Procedures Act and Securities Exchange Act of 1934. There's a compelling common sense argument here, and we look forward to resolving this matter productively and expeditiously. Grace Bale's comment letter campaign during the 240-day review period resulted in a record-breaking 11,400-plus total submissions to the SEC, with over 99% demonstrating support for the conversion. So while it seems like everybody wants a Bitcoin spot ETF, the SEC has not approved that, and Grayscale doing what they said they would do. They are now suing the SEC. Could this get approved? This might be the type of thing that could send Bitcoin price up quite a bit. But if we take a look right now, the sentiment is quite different. Back when Bitcoin was $68,000, everybody was like, ugh, I wish I bought earlier. Now that it's back down to $20,000 or going below, everybody's like, it's a scam. It's going to zero. Now, if we take a look right now, Bitcoin is still incredibly cheap. It's only traded this far below its 200-day trend and aggregated cost basis for 3% of its entire existence. Barely any time did it spend in this area where it is right now. Now, if we take a look at the short-term holder cost basis, this is an excellent indicator of when we flip from bearish to bullish and vice versa. Right now, it currently sits at $30,800. We would need to get above there for price to become unbearish. But right now, if we take a look, there's the highest rate of exchange of Bitcoin withdrawals from exchanges ever. Now, most likely, this is from people realizing not your keys, not your coins, and not wanting to get their crypto taken from them like would happen with different things going on out there but we do see the largest withdrawals of bitcoin from exchanges ever 
Now, in yesterday's video, I was talking about how there's a lot of things suggesting that Bitcoin has likely already bottomed or we are very, very close to the bottom. For example, this chart right here, the 137 EMA and 730 EMA, when they crossed, guess what? In 2015, it crossed three days after the bottom. In 2018, it crossed one day after the bottom. And it just crossed about 12 days ago, suggesting that low of $17,000 or so could potentially be the low. Also, if we take a look at this chart right here, using the rate of change of 12 multiple, uh, basically this shows that we are in the late bear phase. There's the top which has these peaks right here, there's the late bear, and then there's mid cycle, which comes up afterwards before a little bit more looking like late bear and the top. So suggesting we once again are towards the end of the bearish area. But there are two dates that you need to keep your eyes on because while we have a lot of charts suggesting the bottom may have already happened, we also have some things that are saying maybe it didn't. If we take a look at this pi cycle bottom indicator, we can see right here, this has the blue line, the 471 day SMA times 0.745 and the 150 day EMA. When these cross, well, look at this. This was the bottom back in 2015. This was the bottom back in 2019. And it looks like it's about to cross again. It hasn't happened yet, but the cross is projected for July 9th, predicting we may have another price crash coming in about nine days or so. And if that's not enough, we have this from May 10th when the price plummeted. This Marin Altman was saying May 10th and October 28th, keep your eye out for Bitcoin. If you're not keeping an eye on July 9th, you definitely want to keep your eye on October 28th because we could have some crazy stuff happening in the markets before then. So that is all for today's video. We're going to have to see how low Bitcoin price will go and cross our fingers that this 280 weekly moving average will be the bottom. So that's all for today's video. If you did enjoy it, make sure to like, subscribe, click the notification bell. I will catch you guys later. Have a good one. Peace.